Hi, this is Steve Barton for Solid Rock Machine Shop Incorporated. Today we're going to do part two of the multi-part video on our squareness gauge. Uh, the last video uh, we showed the squaring of this block within two ten thousandths of an inch. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to sweep a one inch radius on this block using the boring bar, uh, probably in an unconventional way. In order to use the boring bar and get that set up so that I know I got that radius, I'm going to have to edge find the back of my vise over here and that will serve two purposes. When I mount this block in to put the radius in, I'll know where zero's at, I can, I can go over to halfway, but I also need to know where the back that is, is because I'm going to, of the vise uh, with that jaw because I'm going to use that in order to set the radius on the boring bar. So we'll start uh, by edge finding this back side. You notice that I'm taking a block sticking in there and tapping down because if you watch other videos you know that you get a little bit of movement in the vise and so by clamping it in I can find uh, the back of this jaw under a load. Let me turn the three-phase converter on. This diameter right here is 200 thousandths. I touched off. I'm going to move over 100 thou. Reset my digital to zero. So I know the center line of my spindle now is on the edge of this jaw. In order to swing the radius the way we want, we're going to have to mount the boring bar backwards so that the tip is cutting on uh, the inside rather than the outside. Next thing we want to do, we want to have a one inch radius. I know the center line of my quill is on this edge of this vise. So now I'm going to wind over on my digital one inch. Right now I have the tip where I can eyeball it, it's very close to this edge. You take a piece of paper now, and I can get it closer without touching the tip on the back of the jaw. What you have to do is you have to pivot the bar to find uh, the high point. I know I'm close. I'm touching there. Then there. So there's about the high point. Right now I can feel the paper drag on the tip of the boring bar and that's with pivoting it slightly finding the high point and that paper is roughly about four thousandths of an inch. I'm going to leave it that way because when I grind this I want to have a one inch radius so this way it will leave my radius just the right size. 
Next thing that you want to do, you want to set the part in. I have to move back now to the center line of the block. Snug the table down. Wind over, and then you can eyeball it. You just about have the corner. Actually, we're going to wind into it and set our Z first. Okay, we got our Z travel set. Now we can wind up until we pick up just about on the corner of the part. Just a note of caution, if you use your boring bar and use it in reverse, uh, this boring bar actually is attached by a thread arbor. It's threaded into uh, the boring head. I have this thing on there very tight. By going in reverse, and by hitting just the tips of these, there's going to be a little knocking. Uh, it's going to act like a little hammer on there. And what's going to happen is if, you're, if your boring head is not extremely tight, it could loosen up on you, and that could be a dangerous situation. So you want to make sure that it is tight. You want to turn in reverse. And you can come down, you're not cutting, just move in until you hear it. We will not be adjusting the boring bar itself, right now we'll just be using the X and we'll just walk this in. There, we have the full radius cut on the part now. You want to take light cuts when you do this process. One, it's going to be easier on your tip. The carbide is very brittle. If you take heavy cuts, you could end up breaking. Plus, the heavier cuts, the more likely uh, hood that uh, you might be able to loosen that up. And then that's not going to be a very pleasant thing to do. Right now we have the radius swept on this block. We have a probably about a one inch and uh, uh, a few thousandths on the radius on there. Uh, when I grind this, that will uh, leave a little bit of grain stock. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a sweet point that is going to be on the nose tip. But if you had to do something precision, 
like this. You could also edge sign the back of your block and know where you're at. You can put that radius wherever you want on center and wherever you need it to be. So just a, a little tip that you can use uh, your boring bar uh, to do neat things like this with it. Uh, we'll do. We'll finish the block up in part three, and then we'll get them heat treated, and we'll start in on the grind process. Thanks for watching.